are you doing? You can't take that out of here, Bob. night it was it was wine and candlelight and this morning he said he wanted his own space space oh it's so nice of you to let me stay yeah, it's my pleasure i just wish i didn't have this faculty meeting but i'll be home at 10 and then we can talk Will you just do me a favor and take my books on oh, home sure. Uh, this is the key to the downstairs door. The next one is for the apartment. The bread is in the fridge. The scotch is in the cabinet in the living room. Mm. Mm. I'll see you later. It'll get better. I promise. Robert Golan. What do you say, old pal of mine? Come on in. How are they, Henry? Kids are fine. They're here at Christmas. They'll be back this summer. They must be what now? About high school age, huh? Try college. That's incredible. Have you talked to Molly? Molly remarried three years ago, Cal. You'd need a helicopter trip for that information. My phone works. It has for years. Yes, well, I'm sorry. I have a renegade agent. He's murdered two of my men. Cal, I can rent you a horse. The hours are eight to four. This one is a real shark. Yeah. 
You have an army of 30-year-old hotshots. I have reason to believe that he has memorized the file of every man in the agency. Now, the fact that you haven't been in it for eight years gives you the advantage that I need. for six years. His assignment was WHSLM. That's alphabet soup to me. Western Hemisphere, St. Louis, Missouri. His status has been frozen for two years. Why? His job classification was canceled. Whose files he taken? His own. Uh, this is Mary Casales. It's a killing machine. What department is he in? Assassination. Assassination? His own department? Not a department, a section. Separate and autonomous from every other agency or bureau. I just found out about it this morning. Come on, Cal. You're the bloody chief. For less than a year, that section was set up six years ago, disbanded two years ago. Remember Phil Dewberry? Sure. We found his body six hours ago, a suicide. He left that. Everything I did was for the good of my country. Anything left unfinished. Golem will finish? What was Dewberry's relationship to Golem? Same section. No, no, no. He was, he was a technician. Explosives, special weapons. Assassination. According to his psychological profile, he was bitter about his section's termination. He refused transfer and retired. He moved from St. Louis to an ancestral home near Santa Fe, New Mexico. Look, he, he may have been psychotic. He might have been turned. Uh, we don't know. But for him to kill two of our agents for his own dossier, well, that suggests it's just the tip of the iceberg. How many other people were in his section? One. Me. Mary is the only agent to have worked with him. She knows exactly how he operates and how to handle it. Then you don't need me? He'd spot her before she got within a mile of it. It's not the old days, Henry. As assassins, we were novices. We were operating on idealism and luck. Golem is a professional. As you said, a killing machine. No active agent could get near him. That's why we need you. Cal, there are a lot of ex-agents. Not of your caliber. And not within shouting distance of Los Angeles. Robert Golem is going to kill a lot of people. Where's he headed? We don't know. He got out of St. Louis before we could get to him. I know where I'd go if Mary Casales was the only person who knew how I operated. I'd consider her very dangerous. If he comes after me, it'll be good. Oh, my God. I have a friend staying with me. 
You've reached 555-3247. I'm busy at the moment, but if you'll leave your name and phone number and a brief message after the beep, I'll get back to you. Grace, it's Mary. Pick up the phone. I need to talk to you. Grace, please pick up the phone. Could you have gone out? No, she's got my house key. She's expecting me home any minute. Grace, please pick up the phone. Grace, honey, pick up the phone. Hello? Grace. Oh, Mary. Hi, Mary. I drank all of your scotch. Grace, don't ask any questions. I want you to do something for me. I want you to leave the apartment right now. Leave? It's important. Don't ask questions. Just leave. Why? What have I done? Nothing, honey. Just do it. No questions. What's the matter? There's a guy coming to the apartment. A, a crazy. Just get out of there. Oh, no. I, 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 put, I put the chain on the door. A, a safety chain doesn't mean anything to the psycho. Grace? Are you listening? Grace? Talk to me! The chain is broken. Get out of there right now. Hurry!
This is owner. Go ahead, janitor. The apartment's clean. Come ahead. The owner. All these books yours are leftovers from a busted romance. Why? Is there something a woman couldn't read? There's plenty of person couldn't read. Cybernetics? Well, we obviously don't know the same people. Look, if you looked under the bed and in the closets... All but the locked door. Robot. Base, this is owner. The bird flew north to sunset. Roger, owner. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you. Sorry. It's my head if I don't duck. Lance thought that if you knew, you'd turn us down. What the hell happened? Henry! I don't blame you for being mad. That's sweet of you. But I need your help. Goodbye. Henry, do you want your jacket? The robot's not programmed with your dossier. He doesn't know your strengths, your weaknesses, or how you operate. That's a better edge than any other agent Lance can offer me. I'm not an agent. And Lance is not my boss. I don't care about the agency. Why don't you hide until they find the robot? I have to find him. When I went to work for Natronics Corporation, I didn't know why they were developing the robot. And when the project was moved to the agency, and they asked me to stay with it, I agreed. Hell, I was flattered. They respected my work. And I was honored to do something for my country. Five years ago, a South American diplomat was shot to death behind the wheel of his car. 
I saw the photos on the 11 o'clock news. The next morning when I went into work was the first time I ever saw Dewberry express any emotion. <laughs> he was, uh, so excited he couldn't contain his secrecy. It was our creation, the Golem, who'd carried out that assassination. I, uh, left the agency that afternoon. And I've been teaching ever since. You're not the only one they're dragging out of mothballs. It's flattering, Ivich. Do you know Asimov's three laws of robotics? One. A robot must never injure a human being. Two. A robot must obey orders given it by a human being, except where those orders would conflict with law one. And three. A robot must protect his own existence as long as that protection does not conflict with the first and second laws. When we created an assassin robot, we broke every law. This thing has been programmed by Dewberry to kill. We don't know who or how many targets there are. They could be members of Congress. They could be the president. And anything that gets in Golem's way is gonna die. He's been programmed to carry out his mission, and he's been programmed to survive. You're gonna eat your pie. Then why would I want to get into its way? Not for the agency. Maybe for your country. Maybe for yourself. I've read your dossier. You're a man with a conscience. Electronics Corporation just after receiving my MS in cybernetics. They were working on a prototype humanoid. My contribution was in the control area, primarily sensory. This humanoid has binocular vision as well as field magnification and infrared sensors. He has the auditory acuity of better than any living creature. He has a sense of touch, but not pain. The only senses that he lacks are smell and taste. Dr. Dewberry's contribution was in the motor area, specifically offensive and defensive capabilities. He's flame-proof, fireproof up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. He's bulletproof to anything up to a nine millimeter caliber from six feet. Now, that can pierce the skin, but it won't do any damage unless it's abdominal. Why abdominal? The primary targets for a bullet are the skull or the chest. We reduce the odds on crippling him by placing the brain in the lower abdomen. Does he have any other weaknesses? There are two others. We couldn't allow him to fall into enemy hands. When attacked, he's programmed to react and survive, but in an indefensible situation when he can neither fight nor run. He's programmed to self-destruct. How? Explode. Remind me not to be in the vicinity. What's his other weakness? We were afraid to use plutonium batteries because of the chance of radioactive fallout in case of self-destruction. The secondary power source is solar through his eyes, but that's not enough power for longevity. He needs to recharge from an electrical source every 72 hours. He's programmed to find a defensible situation and plug into an electrical outlet. He needs 30 uninterrupted minutes. During that time, he has no defense. That's when we have to get him. First, we have to find him. We have agents taking out the airline terminals, bus and train depots, all the hotels. 
Do they know what they're dealing with? I want him stopped as quickly and quietly as possible. I don't want what we know to go any further than this room. Is that understood? I want carte blanche. I want full authority, full cooperation, and full access. Is that understood? Bill Dewberry up on the computer. Anything on the robot? No. This thing has the finesse of a flintlock. It's a good thing your robot doesn't use a gun. He can shoot out a candle flame at 200 feet. Great. Well, you can't be an assassin and not use a gun. He's done all right so far. Don't forget that his eyes have built-in telescopic vision. Any other surprises? He can reach running speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. But... Can he make love to a woman? Mm-hmm. Say you're joking. Sometimes it's necessary for cover. Who taught him? Dewberry. Dewberry Christen? Mm hmm. The Robert, I can understand. It's close to robot. But who dug up the golem? Folklore. There was a zealot rabbi in 16th century Prague. He created a clay creature, called it golem. Brought it to life to protect the Jews from persecution. Ironically, it turned on its creators. I need to know about the man, not all this dry information. I hate those things. Tell me about it. I don't have a lot to tell. He was punctual and precise. He never spoke beyond the experiment at hand. He had no sense of humor. I never saw him animated except when we solved a problem. How about his family? Well, he was a widower. That's in his dossier. There's got to be more than that. I mean, you must have talked to him. Not beyond the project at hand. Over lunch or dinner or a cup of coffee? Well, how can you work with a man six or seven years and not know him any better than the inside of a television set? It was three years, and he was the inside of a television set.
Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Do all your rooms have individual air conditioning units? Yes, sir. Good. I'd like a room, please. Below the sixth floor? Below the sixth floor. Yes, sir. I think I can arrange that. I, I don't know when I'll be home, Grace. Well, maybe in a day or two. I can't tell you what's going on or where I am. Yes, I am hiding from the psycho. Can we talk about something else? Well, uh, what about you and Jack? journal. I completely forgot about it. Did he always do that? For the three years I worked with him. I bet he worked that way his entire career. That's a lot of journals. With his type of personality. I bet he saved them. Mm -hmm. Hello? We'll be right there. Come on, Doc. Checked into room 512. I notified hotel management they're cooperating with us. Come near a room on the sixth floor across the street. We can't see what he's doing. His drapes are drawn. No, he doesn't need a bed to sleep in, that's for sure. Let's hope he has to recharge his power supply. Equipment arrive? We're setting up now. break the door down and shoot him. If we can catch him recharging, he's defenseless. No one will get hurt. How do you trace a recharge in a place that uses this much power? He needs a 220 volt outlet. That means the air conditioning supply. It's cold out. I don't think you'll find many air conditioners in use. He plugs in. We'll spot him. Good evening. Once that happens, can we turn the power off down here and put him on a commission? No, he has an override. You turn off the power, he'll wake up. C2 to H1. H1. He's come down from the room. He's gone to the bar. Good. He hasn't had time to recharge. We'll be ready. Thank you. Oh, Lord, you are a beautiful-looking specimen. <laughs> Why don't you just turn this way and make me happy? Were you speaking to me? No. I was just thinking out loud. Are you new in town? Yes. <laughs> Hi. How long did I sleep? An hour. Did you sleep? Can't be because you're not tired. Is it the dream? I read your dossier, remember?
Haven't had it for a while. It used to be every night. And now it's back? Back. I don't kid myself that it's ever gone. But Mady was a terrorist. Worse, he bankrolled terrorist organizations all over the world. I have no guilt over Romady. I was ordered to take him out. One man. In a small private airplane. He changed his plans. 167 people were killed in that plane crash. Sleeping isn't my favorite pastime anymore. Your dossier doesn't mention that there was supposed to be a private plane. I know a lot more about you now. I knew it. I knew you must be a model. What kind? Body. Nude? Usually. Centerfold? Scientific journals. You're joking, right? I have to go now. So soon? I have a business meeting. Wait. Just a minute. For futures. Thank you. H1, this is C2. Go ahead, C2. Subject has left the bar. He's getting off at the fifth floor.
got him. Get him now. Which one? This is C2. Not in his room. Are you sure? Room is empty. He must have taken another room. We have 27 minutes to find him. Get your men inside. Two out in front of snipers. Two in the back in case he gets away. Two cars on the perimeter. How many rooms in this hotel? 500. He won't go above the fifth floor. Not if he wants another exit. He can't survive more than a 50-foot fall. Go room to room from the fifth floor down. You got a master key? Yes, sir. It'll save you some damage on your doors. time uh, less than a minute we've got 40 rooms to search excuse me sir this one's locked from the inside use your foot something jammed against it. Never heard of elevators? <laughs> What's the matter, Henry? Your eyes going? I was supposed to shoot him in the stomach. I shot him in the stomach twice. I saw it. So what happened? I don't know. I don't know. You're the bloody expert. That was Wheeler. We've been monitoring police calls. They found a man dead with his neck broken. He owned a metal shop. There's evidence that the killer cut a steel plate. He reinforced his stomach. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy, am I going to pay for this. Oh, is this ironic? I mean, I guarded my career so carefully. I never made a step that hadn't been reconnoitered from every angle. Now I'm going down the tubes because of someone else's megalomania. I'm going to Santa Fe to Dewberry's house. 
He kept journals in his work. If we can find him, maybe we'll find out who's next. This thing is in L.A. I need you here. What do you want from us, Cal? You want us to wait until he surfaces? He's already fixed one of his weaknesses. What if he shows up in a crowd? You want us to blow him to kingdom come with a missile? Let's go to Santa Fe. What journals are they talking about? They tore the house apart. If there are any journals there, we would have found them. Well, I want someone to keep an eye on them. If they find any journals, I see them first. They could be embarrassing to the agency. your bathroom? Sure, it's around the corner. What happened to you? The business meeting went badly. God, are you kidding me? Are those bullet holes? Powder burns. to stay tonight. You can stay here. Thank you again. Did you sleep? No. <laughs> Do you ever sleep? Rarely. <laughs> ah, 
You sure never get tired. I can vouch for that. shop down the street. They had it in brown, but I think blue is more your color. Mm, very tasty. Whoa, easy. You are strong. Sorry. I like it. Smell food? Coffee and a muffin. Over there. Will you check this out? Hmm. This man had an ingenious mind. Are you involved with anyone? It's personal and off limits. You looked up my dossier. I could just put yours on a computer, punch it in. In capsule form, not involved, never married, two near misses, one I regretted, one I was thankful for. Aren't you going to eat anything? Mmm, might be poisoned. Tasteless wax. <clears throat> Why would he make phony gumballs? Why not? He made phony people. Gumballs are cheap. They're probably cheaper than wax. Maybe he didn't want someone like you coming in here and consuming his experiment. <clears throat> this man was a recluse. Nobody came in here. Did you get a knife?
322. Keylor TBL 8505. That's the lock manufacturer and the code. Listen, old pal of mine, this is not FBI jurisdiction. We're having a problem with one of our agents. He's a psychiatric case. <laughs> Oliver, do you really believe anyone can run 30 miles an hour or jump over a car? Come on. I don't care what people think they saw. But we shot at him because he's dangerous, but that's between us and the local police, not the FBI. Now, we'll handle it. Trust me, okay? Good. When I get back to Washington, we'll take a lunch. Right. Take care. Smithfield's throwing jurisdiction at me. Stanton's calling to get clearance for a lock manufacturer. They found a safe deposit key at Dewberry's house. Do we have a surveillance team on? Yes, sir. Give him the clearance. Thank you. No more storage. I see you again? I don't know. I'd like you to know I think you're a wonderfully exciting man, and that's a real rarity these days. Almost every guy I meet is pure plastic. I'd like you to call me anytime. Let's get started. Okay. Bingo. Double bingo. Hi. Earl Dickman thought you guys might need some help. We have a van outside for this stuff. Fine here. Oh, but he said bring it in. We want to go through it. Oh, he said now. And you don't go through it. Give him a call. I'm in charge here. I was given carte blanche. Oh, sorry, pal. You'll have to call him yourself. I don't have the time. Let's go, Teddy. Am I in charge now? Yes. Boxes down. You're on your side, remember? I'm not so sure. I said, put down the boxes. Boys know how to do this, don't you? Get his gun dropped on the floor. Guns back when you get a note from Dickman. You'll know where to find us. Stanton found the journals. Oh, damn. We'll call the airport. We've got to go to Santa Fe. Becky? Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Catherine. Catherine. Okay.
Yeah. Hope you like the party. <laughs> Nothing to eat in that kitchen, and I'm starving. Again? Well, I am programmed to eat three meals a day. I'm also programmed to get eight hours of sleep a night. You can eat and sleep later. <sighs> Here, there's only three left. <sighs> Listen to this one. Paul Clements is starting up a lobby in Washington to reduce military spending by 50% over the next seven years. This poor misguided excuse of a scientist is going to get us all nuked. Here's another. Senator Stanhouse is at it again. He's working his butt off to kill the MX. They should stuff him in a warhead and target him for Moscow. <sighs> That's Professor Clemens, the nuclear scientist and Senator Stan has from Michigan. How many is that? Fifteen. Say, Dewberry was paranoid, an understatement. The only thing missing is voices coming out of the radiator. He's killing off influential people who don't happen to share his point of view. Listen to this. There is a faction in the agency pressuring Washington to appoint Calvin Lance as director. If that happens, we can kiss the country goodbye. Calvin Lance is Mr. America. Did you find something? No. I'm going to call Lance. recruited me out of Northwestern University. He was the head of the Mideastern section then. Are you friends? I don't know. If you can have a friend in this line of work. Yeah. Yeah, Calvin's my friend. You brought a note from Dickman. We got Dickman. Just calling you, Cal. What's the matter with you, Henry? We made a deal. Full authority, full support, total access. Dickman tried to rescind that deal. Well, Earl? Yes, sir. I thought it would be better if the agency had those journals. You made a mistake. Have you read them all? Most of them. There's a list of 16 potential victims. You're on the list, Cal. Will you men wait outside, please? Is Marcus Bain's name on that list? Yeah. Golan killed him yesterday. May I see the list? I'm going to add your name to it. Hardly a rogues gallery. How would Golan be programmed to continue? Probably geographical location. You mean if he's in L.A., he kills off his quota and then goes elsewhere? Not necessarily. Baines lived and worked in Washington. If Golem was programmed to kill him, he'd go wherever reasonable to do the job. If he's starting in Washington... Senator Corbin is next on the list. Corbin hates the agency. What are you trying to pull, Lance? Huh? This smells as kosher as a roast suckling pig. I'm sorry you feel that way, Senator. But when we discover that a member of Congress is in danger, it is our responsibility to protect him. Your responsibility is not protection. It is the gathering of intelligence. Although I must say, intelligence is greatly lacking in your organization of late. Come in! Mr. Smithfield. Senator. Sorry to drag you out on a Saturday. Hello, Cal. 
Oliver? Sit down. Lance here claims that my life is in danger from one of his agents. Is this a psycho in L.A., Cal? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll contact Secret Service. Well, why? We can handle it. Bottom line, this is not agency jurisdiction. <laughs> name, I want a dossier on him, and I want to know how the hell a guy can hang onto the bottom of a limo doing 50 miles an hour. His name is Robert Golem. His dossier is missing, and he can do what he does because we trained him. Now do me a favor and back off. A U.S. senator has been killed. That's my jurisdiction. Don't wave the Constitution at me. I'm not only waving the Constitution, but if I don't get what I'm asking for, I'm going right to the president. Give me a minute. Well, hello, pal of mine. This uh, toy soldier is squeezing my jugular. Help me out here, will you? Tell the truth. Professor Hoberman's the next name on that list. What if Golem couldn't find him? Would that, would that stop the program? You mean hide him so well that Golem can't find him? Exactly. No, it wouldn't work. Any good program would take an impossibility into consideration. You'd just move on to the next victim. Well, what are you getting at? Bait. Oh, forget it. You can't ask me to ask Holberman to act as a decoy. I wasn't thinking about him. I was thinking about the next name on that list. That's you, Cal. What you're about to hear is top secret. There are probably individuals here who will disagree with my decision to tell you this, but I like to be honest with my people. There is an assassin on his way here to kill me. This assassin is a robot. What? <laughs> it's no joke. You guys can die laughing. Or you can listen and live. How's it going? How deep you want to go with this? 20 feet? I saw that thing jump. It's not to trap him. It's to hide us. Golem's got infrared vision. He can detect body heat unless we camouflage it. Well, I hate to be hiding in here if that thing decides to stumble in. Every position's being set up to cover each other. It's a great comfort. 
How much time's left? Well, I'm only guessing, but if I wanted the program to be efficient, I wouldn't waste more than 48 hours before moving on to the next target. At least we've got that much. these around the periphery of the property. That way we won't have to worry what direction he's coming from. What if some neighbor kid uses this yard as a shortcut? Get this out of here. Remind me to bring a pillow tomorrow night. Huh? They say this thing can hear it breathing at 20 feet. It's not even supposed to be here for another day. Yeah, what if they're wrong? You, uh, would you leave here tomorrow? No. We've done all you can do. Not till Colum's destroyed. I'd feel a lot better if... If what? If you didn't have to worry about me. Yeah. Let's get something straight. I don't cook, wash dishes, fetch slippers, or scream over mice, spiders, or peeping toms. In short, I paddle my own canoe. And bait your own hook. Mm-hmm. Can you accept that? Say yes. Hoberman's office. May I speak with the professor, please? I'm sorry, Professor Hoberman's not in. Thank you. I'll try him at home. No, I'm afraid you won't be able to reach him there either. He's out of the country for the next three weeks. May I ask where he might be reached? He's on a safari in Kenya, but he will be calling in at the end of next week. May I give him a message? No, thank you. I'll try him again. Lance's office. Beth, this is Jack Sweeney. Hello, Mr. Secretary. I'm afraid Mr. Lance is out of town for a few days. Where can I reach him? He left orders not to be disturbed. I hardly think that includes me. I'm sure he didn't mean you. He's in Santa Fe. 505-555-2020.
earliest flight to Santa Fe? A one-way ticket, please. Will you also reserve a car for me at the airport? They've been cataloging Dewberry's journals. There seems to be one missing. What year? 78. Oh. Is it important? You think Stanton's hiding it? No, Casales. I want it. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Government property. Put it back. Sorry. That's government property. That journal belongs to the agency, Henry. What were you doing with it? That's no problem. Just hand it over. Came from Krieger's section. Try him. Krieger? Krieger. Golem run? No, he's programmed for Lance. He won't leave till he's killed him.
check it out. Be careful. Thank you, Mother. you'd be there. I hope you understand that my attempt on your life was not personal. I understand. Good. There was a program override after 48 hours. You're no longer my objective. Calvin Lance is. We can't let you have him. You disappoint me, Mary. Let me speak with Henry Stanton. You know my name? I know everything about you, Henry. Six men are dead out here. Do you want more to die? No. Good. Then give me Lance. No. You're not being logical, Henry. He's only one man, and you of all people have no reason to protect him. He betrayed you. Come on, Henry, don't mistake him. Betrayed is an interesting word. It wasn't in your dossier. I had to cross-index with the Dewberry assassination list. He made the bomb for the Bomadi assassination under Calvin Lance's instructions. I know that. But what you didn't know is that the bomb was set to detonate at 35,000 feet. Hardly the setting for a small private plane. Right, Henry? Destroying Golem is the priority. He was an important disciple. Look, you were getting a conscience. I, I couldn't take a chance on telling the truth. You might have turned us down. It had to be done. What you did to me. You want to die with him? Henry, please. Don't. Don't talk. Don't speak. Don't move. Send him on out here, Henry. He's not worth saving. Dickman, get him. 
Meyer. Thank you. 